right. a massive media presence outside the Lower Manhattan Criminal Court where the first day of jury deliberations has wrapped up in the hush money trial of former President Donald Trump. The jury will return tomorrow as they discuss a verdict for the 34 felony counts against Trump. We are all watching for that. Fox's Connor Hansen joining us live from New York with the latest developments. Connor? Christine Ellix, the jury was sent home around 4 p.m. New York time after their first half day of deliberations. We're starting to get a glimpse into what those jurors might be thinking, sending questions to the judge. They're asking about some of that key testimony from witnesses like Michael Cohen and David Pecker about that fateful meeting in Trump Tower. Also asking more questions about the jury instructions that they received just this morning. After listening to more than a month of witness testimony and a marathon session Tuesday of closing arguments, a jury of 12 will determine Donald Trump's fate. Mother Teresa could not beat these charges. These charges are rigged. The whole thing is rigged. Prosecutors allege he was part of a business scheme to cover up hush money payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels to silence her claims of an affair before the 2016 election. I think that the prosecutors really failed up until closing argument to explain to the jury what the actual crime here was and introduce the evidence they needed to prove it. The jury must be unanimous for any guilty verdict, whether it's all 34 felony charges or just some. As they deliberate, the seven men and five women can ask follow-up questions on handwritten notes. Trump denies any wrongdoing, but if found guilty, could always appeal. I think the far likelier outcome in the event of a conviction is either a sentence of probation, potentially home confinement. Now, if the jury does find Trump guilty, it'll be up to Judge Juan Mershon alone to decide on the sentence. This, of course, could end in an acquittal or a hung jury if those jurors can't agree. Back to you. And it was interesting today, Connor, when the jurors had a question uh, and under New York law, the uh, former President Trump has to basically hang out this entire time, right? That's right, and we have no idea how long this is going to take, and we're not sure uh, if this is really going to slow it down. One thing that's interesting here, th these jurors were given jury instructions for about an hour this morning, upwards of 50 pages. They're not allowed to take a hard copy back with them. They just kind of have to remember, and a half a day later, they're already asking questions about it. It's a big case. A it seems like a really there. bad way to do it. <laughs> there are printers these days, which they use here in California. Uh, but New York does it their own way. All right, Connor, thank you so much.